I'm gonna say some words to you, my short, small man like me. I'm 5'2". I've got a big moon round face. Gross large features, I've been told I look like E.T. I'm short and dumpy. I got a big fat belly. No neck. That's all. And the only respect I get out there is now as an old man. I'm an old man. I'm pushing 80 year old. And I get what's called Enoch Munis respect. That's the respect that you get when somebody thinks you're pitiful. A tremendous insult. And I'm here to talk about it today. The only way you can get around it, if you look like me, if you're a small, short man like me, five feet, two inches tall, and that's all. I'm considered a little man, a dwarf, a troll, a mole. I've been insulted all my life, humiliated and insulted for my height and my presence. I have no presence. I have no appearance. I have no social personality. That's all. By social personality, I mean cutesy, wootsy. I don't do any of that bullshit. The face you see is the face I wear socially. That's all. But I've learned through the years to tell it exactly the way I see it. With no shuck, no jive, no nothing. But I know one thing. You have to get yourself in tremendous shape. There's no excuse. Don't let anything be an excuse. You've got to build your body powerful and tough. Mother, what are you to be? Father, what are you to be? You have to be your own man. You do that or you die. It's a very predatorial, pay-as-you-go world out there. You gotta, you gotta drive that in the child's mind when they're young. Drive it in there. Once you get the ability to defend yourself, you get a good offense and a good defense, then you can go anywhere you want to go. Otherwise, you're going to have to genuflect like I did. To run and hide and avoid being ridiculed and mocked like I did. You won't be able to show your face anywhere socially. You'll cover your face like a criminal. And you are a criminal socially. Because you can't compete. You have no social personality. That's what I'm saying to you. Listen to what I say. I've got the credentials to talk because I am the victim. I've done the studies. I've done the investigation. I've done the hard thinking. And watching and observing out there, I know what the hell I'm talking about. First, the short, small man has to know what he is. He'd better look in the mirror and see what others see. That's called the phenotype. Defined as when you go out socially, your interaction with others, men or women, I don't care who the hell it is, holds a mirror up to you and tells you exactly who you are. How do you know? The body language, man. The expressions, everything. And you've got to build some alien material on you, some good, hard, tough bark. You cannot be, you have to train hard not to be embarrassable or oversensitive or sensitive at all. And you have to push back. That's the main thing. Push back, push back, short, small man. But in order to do that, you better be in shape. You better have a powerful grip. And you better be strong in your body, tough in your mind. There's no excuse. Or you'll die, socially and physically. That's all. I tell you, it's better to be mad than sad. It's better to laugh than cry. You have to have a sense of humor. You make a joke out of all this. All this humiliation, insulting, one upsmanship, crap, crap, crap. You make a joke out of it. You make a joke out of it. But you're serious as, as hell behind it. You got to, your body's tough and hard. Your mind's tough and resilient and flexible. Do it or die. That's what I say. And this book is Strategies for the Short Small Man.
Never been investigated before. Never been done before. Until I ask the questions. When I ask the questions, when I look at it, you got a whole different phenomenon. The situation of the short, small man has never been comprehended. From the point of view of the short, small man, never been comprehended anywhere until I came along.